The Smithing Template Guide in Minecraft 1.20 The Smithing Template is a new item in the Minecraft 1.20 Trails and Tales update. In this video I'll explain how to get the armor trim, upgrade gear to netherite, duplicating smithing templates, and where to find all of the smithing templates. How to use the smithing template To use the smithing template you have to use the smithing table. The display for the smithing table has been changed to this. Now there will be three slots in the smithing table. The first slot is for the smithing template, the second is for the piece of armor, tools, or weapons, and the third slot is for the ingot or crystal being used. On the right side is an armor stand with what the gear will look like. Each time you use the smithing table, it will consume the smithing template. There are a total of 17 different smithing templates. The most valuable of these would be the netherite upgrade smithing template. The netherite upgrade, netherite ingot, and diamond gear will be how you get netherite gear. Upgrading to netherite will keep all the enchantments on the gear, the prior work penalty, this is the amount of times it's been worked in the anvil and the durability points lost. The other 16 smithing templates are armor trims. These can be used on armor to create decorations that make your armor customizable. They can be put on any type of armor. The armor trim will not have any effect on the armor. For example, netherite colored armor trim will not make the armor immune from being destroyed from lava. The color applied to the armor will depend on the color of the ingot or crystal. There are 10 different colors. Nether quartz that is white, netherite ingot is black, iron ingot is gray, copper ingot is copper, gold ingot is gold, diamond is turquoise, amethyst shard is purple, lapis lazuli is blue, the redstone dust is red, and the emerald is green. This allows you to put almost any color on the armor. Also different colors are more expensive resource wise, like a netherite ingot is harder to get than a copper ingot. How to duplicate smithing templates. Once you have one smithing template, you can duplicate it using the crafting table. As long as you keep one of the smithing templates, you can keep duplicating it. This could be especially useful with the netherite upgrade to keep upgrading diamond gear to netherite. The crafting recipe is a smithing template, a building block, and seven diamonds crafts two smithing templates. The block will depend on the smithing template. It will be related to where it was found. For example, netherite upgrade, the block is netherrack. All all of the blocks needed for duplicating smithing templates will be easy to acquire. Where to find the smithing templates? There are three different ways to get smithing templates. Through chest loot, killing elder guardians, and for excavating suspicious gravel in the new trail ruins. The Ghost Armor Trim Smithing Template. This armor trim is found in the shipwreck. There is a 16.7% chance to get two Coast Armor Trim Smithing Templates in any of the three chests found on the shipwreck. The Dune Armor Trim Smithing Template. This is found in the Desert Temple. There is a 14.3% chance of getting two dune armor trimming smithing templates being in one of the chests. The chests are found in the chamber that is hidden under the terracotta pattern in the floor of the main chamber. The eye armor trim smithing template. This is found in the stronghold. Strongholds are buried underground and can be found using an eye of ender that will point in the direction of the stronghold when thrown. An eye armor trim has a 10% chance to be in the altar chest and 100% chance to be in the library chest. The altar chest chests are the ones that are found in the corridors. The library chests are found in the libraries. There is one chest in the smaller libraries and two chests that will be in the larger ones that are two levels. The rib armor trim smithing template. This is found in the nether fortress. Nether fortresses are composed of nether brick and bridges and pillars that is high above the lava sea. There is a 6.7% chance for one armor trim smithing template to be in a chest. The chests in the nether fortress are in the inner corridors, specifically at the corridor turns. The Century Armor Trim Smithing Template. This is found in the Pillager Outpost. There's a 25% chance for two Century Armor Trim Smithing Templates to be in this chest. This chest is found at the top level of the Pillager Outpost. Silence and Ward Armor Trim Smithing Templates. These are found in the Ancient City. The Ancient City is found in the Deep Dark Biome at level negative 50 underground. There's a 1.2% chance to get one Silence Armor Trim Smithing Template in a chest. There's a 5% chance to get one Ward armor trim smithing template in a chest. The chests in the ancient city are found throughout, but specifically in the ruins. These are themed like barracks, chamber, icebox, sauna, and the tall ruins. Snout armor and netherite upgrade smithing template. 
This is found in the Bastion Remnant. There is an 8.3% chance to get one Snout Armor Trimming Smithing Template in any of the chests in the Bastion Remnant. One Netherite Upgrade can be found in any of the chests at 10% in the Bastion Remnant like the Hogland Stable, Generic Chest, and the Bridge Chest. The best spot is the Treasure Chest at 100% chance. The Treasure Room is a square structure where the lava will be on the ground and there will be walkways above it. In this, there will be a Magma Cube Spawner and the chest with a Netherite Upgrade will be surrounded by gold blocks near the bottom. The Spire Armor Trim Smithing Template. This is found in the End City. End Cities are found in the End Highlands. There is a 6.7% chance to get one of the Spire Armor Trim Smithing Templates in the chest in the End City. The Vex Armor Trim Smithing Template. This is found in the Woodland Mansion. The Woodland Mansion is found in the Dark Forest Biome. You can get the Woodland Explorer map from a cartographer villager that will lead you to a Woodland Mansion. There is a 50% chance to get one Vex armor trim smithing template in a chest. The chest can be in multiple rooms, however not all the chests will have loot or they will have specific items in them. The wild armor trim smithing template. This is found in the jungle pyramid. There is a 33% chance to get two wild armor trim smithing templates in this chest. The first chest is revealed if you solve the puzzle with levers, however you could just bypass this with a pickaxe. There is another chest that will be in the hallway after a booby trap. The tied armor trim smithing template. This one is more unusual as it will drop as an item when the Elder Guardian is killed. There is a 20% chance to get one tied armor trimming smithing template from the Elder Guardian. The looting enchantment won't increase the chance of getting one and it will drop the Elder Guardian isn't killed by the player. Elder Guardians are found in the Ocean Monument and there will be three in each one. Wayfinder, Shaper, Host and Razor armor trim smithing template. These are found in the new Trail Ruin structure. The Trail Ruins will be a buried structure that can be spotted on the surface the inside will be filled with dirt, coarse dirt, gravel, and suspicious gravel. The suspicious gravel, when excavated with a brush, will have loot items emerge from it and turn it into a gravel block. The suspicious gravel is fragile, breaking if mined, mined with silk touch, or the block underneath is removed. In Java Edition, there are two types of suspicious gravel, rare and common. There isn't a difference in appearance, it is just the loot the suspicious gravel will drop. In rare suspicious gravel, there is an 8.3% chance to get the Wayfinder, Shaper, Host, or or razor armor trim smithing template. The suspicious gravel will be found throughout the trail ruins. Once you dig down in the tower, there will be a pathway of stone, stone bricks, and cobblestone that will connect it to other buildings made up of terracotta, glazed terracotta, and mud bricks. In Bedrock Edition, there is no rare and common suspicious gravel. It will be a 1.8% chance of getting the armor trim smithing template from any piece of suspicious gravel.